Hey guys, my name is Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a 24-hour reading vlog. I'm hosting a 24-hour readathon on my Patreon. I thought I would vlog for it because I don't ever really do 24-hour readathons. So I thought this would be like a little fun opportunity just to like have a fun video for it. The readathon is, of course, <laughs> Twilight themed. Yesterday, my friend's birthday party, it was a Twilight themed birthday party. So I dressed up as Edward. Here's a picture. So it's been a very Twilight heavy week. <laughs> but like there is still a substantial amount of glitter on my face um, this morning. So that was a fun time. We're going to continue in the Twilight vibe and <laughs> read for this Twilight inspired 24 hour readathon. So the, the readathon is the Hold On Tight Spider Monkey 24 hour <laughs> readathon. There are three prompts. The first one is where the hell you been loca and it's to read a tbr vet the second one is you're like my own personal brand of heroin which is to read a book by your favorite author and then la push baby it's la push and that is to read a book with an ocean theme um <laughs> so it's gonna be a fun time i do have my books picked out for this um and i have two that if i read both of them i would complete all three prompts the first one is hannah's hero by ruby dixon this is a TBR vet because I've had it for a really long time and Ruby Dixon is one of my favorite authors. So, you know, with two, with this one we combined two prompts. I could probably extend it out to like a book with an ocean theme because this like takes place like on a coast. Like they live really close to the ocean. So I could stretch it that far, but I do have another book specifically for that. So it's fine. But this is going to cover two prompts. This is like the, I feel like, sixth or seventh book in the ice home series uh which is a spin-off of the ice planet barbarian series and i really want to read this because i want to read the next book which is debbie's distraction because i have a feeling that one's gonna be like my favorite from the spin-off series so i'm really excited to get to it but i gotta go through this one first um i'm actually really excited about this because um we do get to see this couple and they kind of have like a very like contentious relationship they don't like each other she avoids him like constantly so i'm excited to see how they're gonna kind of work through their differences <laughs> um and you know be together so i think this one will be really fun and i just love ruby dixon and this world has just been one of my favorite series of all time so i'm very excited to get back to it and my second book which will have like the ocean theme I got an arc for this book. I will leave the date that this actually releases, but this is an arc and it is Breathless by Kat Wynn. And I think this might be, I'm speculating here because I haven't looked too into it. I just saw it going around on Instagram and that the author was looking for arc readers and I was like, well, I loved Whispers of the Deep, so I kind of want another ocean themed monster romance. So I don't know if he's a mermaid or just like some type of underwater being i'm kind of hoping it's a mermaid but if it's not i won't be like too sad but like i would love that so i don't know what it's about like absolutely nothing <laughs> i don't know i just know it's underwater possible mermaid monster romance like that's all i know and honestly that's all i need to know you know i don't need to know anything else so those are the two books that i want to read for this readathon i feel like it's super doable these books are not that long and romance is really easy for me to devour like in just a sitting like i could literally binge these books so i'm excited i do have sprints for patreon tomorrow um but today i have work and i'm gonna start my readathon once i get off of work but i just wanted to like intro this um and then go to work and then once i'm done sit down and just read and have a silly goofy time with some monster romance i do have some other books that i am currently reading that i could possibly jump into but i won't mention those until later like if i do decide that i want to read those but these two are like my official tbr for the readathon so that's it i will come back once i actually start the readathon and i'll give you guys updates but that's what this vlog is going to be. So I will see you guys once I actually get into the readathon. Hey guys, so today is Saturday and I'm finally <laughs> off work and can finally start the readathon. So it's currently 5.30. I'm going to wait till 6 to officially start and just go from 6 today to 6 tomorrow. Um, and I'm not sure which book I want to start. I kind of want to go for Breathless just because it's an arc and I'm very excited about it and I would be down for like some ocean, you know, ocean vibes. 
How? Why can't I switch the page on this thing? My Kindle is not working. <laughs> okay, I guess. I mean, what's going on with this? There we go. A fish monster romance. <laughs> uh, Breathless deals with topics some readers may find difficult. Child abuse, exploitation, sexual assault. Um, difficult parent, parental relationships, parental death. Therapy, suicide ideation, and attempts. Violence, including blood and guns, and the usage of chemical altering substances. Please take care while reading. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot. I'm actually kind of surprised. Okay, so this book is 280 pages. I definitely can do that. <sighs> okay, so this one's dark, which I wasn't expecting. And this is like fluffy, <laughs> like fluffy sweet. Oh, I don't know what I want. Fuck, I don't know what I want. this okay no i'm gonna read hannah's hero because i just read the little synopsis and i am so excited so you know what we're gonna go with hannah's hero i need this <laughs> like i definitely need this so i'm gonna start this at some point in this readathon i did want to do a journal spread i have 30 minutes before i start i think i'll i think i'll do my uh reading spread right now before the readathon starts, and then once I start it, I'll just start with Hannah's Hero. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'll show you guys what I end up doing. Um, and yeah. Okay hey guys, so it is currently 9.49 um, and I spent, I think, like an hour, hour and a half working on my reading journal setup and then I started Hannah's Hero by Ruby Dixon and I am 80 pages in now and I actually kind of hate Hannah, <laughs> which really sucks because she's just she's so irritating and like i get why though like that's the thing like i just find her so annoying but like i understand why she's doing the things that she's doing but it's still so annoying like i'm just like i feel bad for disliking her because i know why she's doing the things that she's doing that make her dislikable does that make sense so I like feel bad for her, but she's so annoying too. And I'm just like, this is so, like, it's so conflicting, you know? Cause every time we're in her perspective, I'm just like, please, like, <laughs> please no. But then we switch to Jashelle, Jashelle. And I love his perspective. Like, I really like his character. And I know that together they would be really good because he would be able to kind of balance her out and like i know it'll be good when they get there but like obviously we have to go through the whole like resistance to the faded mates trope and then you know once we get there i know it's gonna be fun but it's like oh my god <laughs> like, hannah please like please stop <laughs> like it's just 
Oh, she has such like her intentions are so like well placed. Like, I get it. I get it. Like, but oh my god, girl. Like, please relax. It's not that serious. I promise you. So it's just it's it's weird. Like, it's really weird to feel how I feel about this book so far. But I will be obviously continuing. Um, I'm going to actually make something to eat right now, and I'm also gonna make myself a coffee because I want to try and stay up. Uh, a good amount for this so yeah i also i did reading sprints today i did like impromptu reading sprints because i got home kind of early and i was really in the mood to just do sprints so i ended up hosting some on patreon and those were really fun and then i have the sprints tomorrow as well so those are just like generally what i'm planning i literally just want to sit and read for the rest of the weekend and like just try and knock these bo books out but yeah, I want to read, I want to try and finish this tonight or at least get really, really close to finishing it. Uh, but I need coffee <laughs> and I need some food. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just order something because I really don't want to cook. And I don't think I have like many ingredients to cook anyways. So I'm kind of tempted just to order something. So might do that, but for sure I got to make the coffee because I need to stay up. I need to stay up. So that's my update for now. I will check in a little bit later. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. I think I am going to sleep back around one ish and i had like 20 pages left but i was like so exhausted i couldn't continue so i finished this up this morning so i officially have finished up hannah's hero um and it was not my favorite <laughs> it was not my favorite i mean it did grow on me and i did like enjoy their relationships but um yeah it wasn't my favorite i just i just found hannah very just annoying sometimes well-intentioned but very annoying um and i felt like i wanted a little bit more from their relationship like i feel like i would have really enjoyed them having a little bit more back and forth a little bit more teasing joking flirting like i wanted more of that but yeah i did finish this and i ended up giving this one three stars so that means i can finally move on to debbie's distraction and the way this ends kind of gives you a peek into debbie's distraction and it sounds like it's literally going to be just like a drama filled um ice home book and i'm so excited about that because it seems like there's gonna be a lot of jealousy and a lot of like back and forth and i'm just like so 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 excited for that so finish that i'm currently waiting for kelsey's video to premiere for escape the readathon the tbr that she made because we made, we made a joint intro together and it's so funny so i'm waiting for that premiere to start and um <laughs> i can't wait but once that premiere finishes, I'm going to uh, go get Duncan, get coffee, fuel up so that we can continue our reading because next one I'm going to read is Breathless. I have started it. I literally just literally read like two pages. Um, so I have started. I'm excited to see where this is going to go. Um, I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a darker monster romance just because there seems to be a lot of things that this person that this person is gonna be dealing with so I feel like it might be a little bit darker I definitely think I can finish um, breathless it's like 280 pages and then I would like to get a little bit more reading done and I think I will start my monster romance buddy read with my patreon I think I'll start uh, dark city Omega um, by Elizabeth Stevens I don't think I'll finish it because it's like 400 something pages but I would love to get to like halfway point on that so that's generally what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day um i'm very excited so yeah that's it i will update you guys a little bit later so it is now 2 50 
I am currently on Sprints on Patreon, and I have been reading my arc of Breathless, and I'm now 138 pages in, which is 49%, and this is definitely a lot darker than what I expected, and it's also, it also feels more contemporary than, like, a, like, ocean-themed monster romance that I've like the ones that I've read before. So this feels a little bit more contemporary because it's all taking place in the real world. Um, and it's like fantasy in a way because he's a fish man, but like the themes that are being explored are very contemporary, if that makes sense. Um, sorry, I think my camera's crooked. There we go. So it's interesting. I don't know how to feel about that aspect. I do kind of wish it felt a little bit more magical and not so like daily life because I am not like a contemporary girl. Um, so I do wish that it felt a little bit more mm, m like more monster romance-esque, but it feels a little bit more contemporary. Uh, but I am interested to see where this is going to go. Um, it's entertaining because I think our female main character is so funny like it's so funny but it is dealing with like very heavy topics because there is like uh, agoraphobia in here our main character deals with agoraphobia there is like mentioning of sexual assault um, and then just like really bad relationships with parents so it's just it's very complex the story it's telling set within this like monster romance um, so it, it's not what I expected, but I am enjoying it. I just wish it was a little bit, it felt like a little bit more magical, but it is darker. So <laughs> maybe that's like the point, you know? So that's where I'm at with this. I am going to continue reading. I did get Duncan, so I do have coffee. Um, I have a donut. I'm gonna get back to reading. Just wanna give you guys an update while I am 50% in. And I will update you guys once I'm done because I'm, in, I'm really interested to see where this is going to go because I do have a, a sneaking suspicion as to what's going to happen and I do want to see how this is all going to pan out. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying it and I'm going to continue reading so I will update you guys a little bit later.
Hey guys, so it's the next day. I just wanted to kind of give some final updates for this vlog uh, before we close it out. But yesterday I did end up finishing Breathless by Kat Gwynn and I ended up giving it three stars. I think I just wanted more monster romance elements than what we get. Like I said, it just feels very contemporary, almost in the same way that Bride by Ali Hazelwood felt like a contemporary like monster romance that's what i felt with uh breathless by kat gwyn uh, but it was entertaining there were some very unique unique aspects i will say that so i did finish that and then i ended up reading around 69 pages of dark city omega by elizabeth stevens um before the readathon ended and then i continued binge reading it after the readathon was over i think now i'm like i'm like at 62 percent i mean I'm so obsessed. Like, I'm so obsessed right now with that book. It's so good. It's so entertaining. It starts off so dark and so just fucked up. And this world is just sounds so intense. And we're getting, obviously, the Alpha, Beta, Omega, whole world build, the Omegaverse. And, I mean, my jaw is on the floor sometimes with that book. <laughs> It's so good, but it's so entertaining. Like, there's, like, a very intense storyline that is following along this relationship. And the storyline is just so interesting. I can't wait to find out what's going on because it just feels so cool. It feels like an urban fantasy Omegaverse vibe. Like, oh my god, I'm having, like, a time of my life. I'm having the time of my life. And all I can picture for our main character is Jax Teller from Sons of Anarchy. And, I mean... I have zero complaints. <laughs> Absolutely zero complaints right now. So yeah, I did get to that percent. But officially for the readathon, finished two books, both three stars. Um, but I did end up completing all my prompts with those two books. I had a really good time with this readathon. I really liked these prompts. I thought they were really fun. And it was a very twilight weekend, <laughs> that's for sure. But yeah, that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to leave me an emoji just to say you were here, you can leave me a little pine tree emoji for twilight vibes, <laughs> forks vibes. But aside from that, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to keep with more content from me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!